how to sell digital products on Shopify, setup, tips, and tricks. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can sell digital product on Shopify. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Now, setting up physical products is easy, but digital products are a whole other game. So to get started with digital products, simply log on to your Shopify store. Once you log on to your Shopify store, you're going to click on product on the top left and click on add product on the top right. Now, for this tutorial, I'm just going to be naming it Demo Ebook. So Demo Ebook, that's our book name. Then you're going to add a description. You can add, you know, you can generate text. So children's ebook like this. And then I'm going to click on generate over here. And then I'm just going to keep this over here. Now, after that, you will scroll down and you will see on the bottom, you have your media options. So you're going to click on upload over here. So what you're actually going to upload over here is not going to be your entire book, but this is going to be just a illustration of the book. So just to show you guys an example, I'll go into Canva. And you guys can see this is like our ebook that has all our pages, whatever, you know. So these are all our pages, you know, only going to add this section or like the index section so usually people do like to read up on the index so let's say i have this section as well like this so after that you're not going to add the entire pdf in your media section so to download an individual page just go into download and you can just go ahead and go into page one and two that i want to download and I'm just going to download this as a JPEG and click on download over here. And you don't want to upload your PDF. That's a mistake a lot of newbies make. Uh, so we're just going to do that. And now you're going to upload those images over here. So make sure that they are downloaded in the correct format. We're just opening these up over here and we're uploading them over here. So once you have uploaded your book cover and your actual table of contents, now this applies to any digital product. If you have like a course, so if you're selling a course online, then just upload like an outline of the course or maybe like a demo video that you created, uh, just an introductory video to the course that you might have created. You are going to upload that over here. Now, after that, you're going to add your price. Now, if you want to charge taxes, you can. I'm not going to. Then you're going to add your pricing. Now, a lot of people get confused at the price and compare at price. So the compare at price is actually the price that's going to be cut up. So this is usually like an inflated price that you can add and then you can add your actual price. So let's say our compare at price is $50 or something. And then the actual price is $40 that we're selling this at. And you can also add your cost per items if you're looking to calculate profits and margins. Now below that you have your inventory. So this is not a physical product. We're going to scroll down. And what we're going to do is we are not going to make this a physical product. So what we're going to do is in the bottom, your shipping information. So you're going to take this off. And obviously, because you don't have inventory, you're not going to track that either. So this is not a physical product. And you guys can see you even have like a tutorial in Shopify's guidelines on whether or not you're supposed to keep this. So you can remove shipping and, you know, have your digital downloads added as well. Now, after that, you will have your digital download option. So there are multiple different options in which you can sell your digital download, obviously because we are publishing this and we are going to we are only going to be selling this on our online store like this and then after that you have your active status on your product now because this is a digital download and you might be wondering hey how do i actually send this to the customer well there are a few ways that you can automate this process so the first thing is you're going to save your product over here and now once you go into your products you have a active product ready so this is like the product but how do you deliver this to the customer well you can automate this with an email so people can receive an email instantaneously whenever they purchase the product so for this you can just connect mailchimp and once you connect mailchimp you can go on ahead and 
send a product email where you have linked the PDF of this particular product. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you want to provide instant downloads, then you can click on to settings on the bottom left and click on apps and sales channels on the left, then click on Shopify app store on the top right. You're going to search for digital products like this or digital downloads it's totally up to you but you guys can see there are multiple different product creators available so you can use the big digital downloads product over here now i usually do this flat email i don't find it too bothersome for me but it's usually easier if you do it with an app but having an email list just further you know incentivizes your customers to purchase more frequently so that's like a marketing strategy integrated into the product so you're just going to download big digital download over here and we're just going to skip and continue over here now you're going to click on create digital product and you can add your ebook like this and you will have download files email and then you have your digital files and that is uh, let's say i want to just add this and i'm just going to drag and drop our actual pdf so whatever is your pdf for the file you're going to add this so you guys can see this is a pretty heavy file that we're adding obviously we're going to be adding this as a larger book if you have a larger book it's totally all right you just have to wait a little longer for this to be completed but just to make it easier for this video we're just going to wait for this to be completed and i want to send an email to my customer and then i'm going to click on select product over here on the top and once i click on select product i am going to select our demo ebook and this is where the digital download will be added directly into our checkout and you guys will see over here you have an email you have the email information and the order number and this is how it's going to look like on checkout so it's going to give you a preview of the checkout as well on the left side of your screen so people can just click on the download button and it would be downloaded instantaneously now i'm clicking on save on the top right and once i've clicked on save i'm going to go into products over here and let's take a look at our product so if i click on buy it now and once i click on buy it now i'm going to add this and then we're just going to click on complete order so our order for our product has been completed and you guys can see that now this has been added and a confirmation will be sent to the person that purchased this now i can click on continue shopping and i will receive my product in the mail now keep in mind i added my process of cash on delivery so i will have to mark the order as fulfilled for the customer to receive the product obviously when you're doing digital products you don't want to offer cash on delivery options so for that you can go into your payment system over here and i am going to remove our payment system and we're just going to add a bogus provider so this is a bogus getaway that we can set up just to be able to see how our sales system is working so this is just one product that we've created as a digital download and we're just going to take a look at our product once more so you guys can see currently it's even showing us the earnings the orders file size and digital products that we have added so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reorder our product over here just to see again what our checkout is going to look like and we're just going to add this over here and then we're going to click on pay now so currently our order is being processed and you guys can see just as the order has been processed you guys can see on the top right our digital download has been prepared and now i can click on download over here and i can download my ebook so in this way you can create a digital download on your shopify store you can easily create any kind of digital product you want without having to integrate a lot of other applications into your shopify store so make sure to add this and keep in mind that the more options that you provide for your customers to pay as well as download your book the better your book or digital product sells because people like the ease so when you have it directly available in the form of an email so people can access it whenever they want wherever they want on whichever device that they want that can be a great way to further boost your sales so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe